about 20 years ago, I got a call from Fran Dolan, who was the executive director at that time, and he put me in charge of a committee they had organized called the, Legisla the Legislative Advocacy Committee. And uh, I had wonderful people on that, staff people and volunteers. And then we got involved in working on El Centro and also providing uh, a similar situation in Lakewood. And uh, I think the thing that appealed to me in particular about it was that my whole career, I felt that I had spent helping to make rich people richer. And now I wanted to work uh, to help poor people, people who were economically impoverished. The two things were fulfilling. One, the sense of service, helping people in need. And the second, well, the people that I got to be working with, the people at Catholic Charities, they were marvelous people. They were people that almost uh, invariably were motivated uh, by a sense of service. Uh, I decided that what we needed was a homeless shelter because I decided to work for the homeless people. We had no shelter in Ocean County and there were po political reasons for that. No town wanted to have a shelter in its limits and therefore the zoning regulations create, put a kibosh on the possibility of uh, establishing a shelter. A, well, I organized a, a corporation, Family Promise of Southern Ocean County, and we hired a, a social worker to be our director, and we uh, rented a place that, which could be a day center for the people to use as they looked for jobs and tried to uh, find a new home. Uh, after having been evicted in most cases with their families. And uh, we provided social services to them, case, case management. Uh, we provided meals and we provided shelter, overnight shelter, a week at a time for the various churches that we had in our network. While I was at Catholic Charities, uh, we received a call from the Internal Revenue Service. And they said that, do you realize that in your four counties, uh, there's about $98 million in unclaimed earned income tax credits that people are entitled to. And perhaps many of these people are your clients and maybe we should do something about that. So with that, we organized uh, tax return preparation operations in the four counties and we were able to obtain earned income credits that people didn't know they were entitled to. Uh, most of the people typical case would be a single mom with two kids. Uh, she didn't make enough money to have to file a tax return. And, or if she, even if she had to file a tax return, there was no tax due. And oftentimes with all the problems, they fell behind and they didn't file. And uh, we found that by helping them, we could oftentimes get very significant refunds. Uh, the average would be about $3,000 a year for a family with two kids. Um, and uh, all, could go as high as five or six thousand dollars. And uh, we were able to file claims for prior years. Uh, one of the first women that I had that uh, we helped, we got almost ten thousand dollars for her back from filing refunds for the previous couple of years. And uh, that woman was just so elated. I mean, it really changed her life, her financial outlook. She was able to pay off her credit cards. Uh, she was able to uh, put a down payment on a home, on a, uh, uh, an apartment, you know. And uh, it really made the difference between uh, being in dire poverty and just being in ordinary poverty. We stress the importance of uh, affirming the dignity of people. Well, it's awfully hard to maintain dignity if you're homeless. It's awfully hard to maintain dignity, dignity if you've been unemployed for a year. Uh, and if you've got sicknesses that are overwhelming, and, uh, but people who are homeless and people who are sick and have nowhere else to go, if it weren't for agencies like Catholic Charities, I, I just don't know what kind of a society we, we, we'd have. So please stay open and be as generous as you can in helping them. Catholic Charities will help you to help them.